Hello there, I am Memo Sebo. Thanks for watching the video. This is my review for Secret Empire number 10. The finale, if you will, for this big ass event in Marvel that many people hate. And with due reason, because there's like there's no consequences. The cosmic cube is in play, so they can just fix whatever the fuck they want. And of course my reviews, my comic reviews are all spoilers. If you haven't read it or you don't care, you can stay and watch it. Spoilers. So how about we try this, this new thing for the reviews. I'll go read them almost page by page with you guys and tell you what I think of the page, <laughs> what's going on, and shit. So we got the big one, the big splash page. Captain America or Captain Hydra in the Iron Man suit saying stand down. This was the first shot, just uh, establishing how strong this character is, the impact, the presence. The guy did copy, well, I mean, this is Steve McNiven's art. Steve McNiven is one of my favorite Captain America artists ever. And this one looks pretty cool, even the shades and all of that. I really like it. We switch to the Avengers talking to Steve Rogers. They're like, hey man, you suck. And he's like, nah, I'm the good guy. You guys are stupid. You're too late. So he's going to use a Cosmic Cube, as we all predicted, right? He's going to use a Cosmic Cube to change the world into Hydra, into what he thinks should be what the world looks like. Right? Avengers assembled by Hawkeye. They're all going to go fight Steve Rod. They're all going to go fight a guy with the Cosmic Cube. I mean, while I read this... I knew what was going to happen, man. I mean, it's, it's not a surprise that they they get their asses kicked by Steve Rogers. He had the power of a god now. And this looks really cool. This uh, Iron Man superhero landing stuff or punch. I really like the Cosmic Cube blue stuffy. I really like it. it. Looks nice. And yeah, so he swipes them away or he erases all the heroes from existence. And again, man, reading this, I'm like, they're coming back. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't care, dude. They are going to come back. This is a cool part. As we see in this one, in this page, Hydra, Captain Hydra is there with the Cosmic Cube, and he's changing reality or history as we know it. The Fantastic Four are back, but they're Hydra astronauts now. Mr. Fantastic is not the leader. Dr. Doom is the leader. <laughs> this is cool, man. Like for the mutants, mutant revolutionaries executed. So they killed Xavier and Eric. I want to say that's Eric Magneto. So they killed the mutants, no more mutants. The Avengers are Hydra originally now. They have the Hydra symbol there. Iron Man's chest and Thor's thingies. <laughs> really cool stuff. And Spider-Man. Spider-Man was bitten by a Hydra spider. Oh man, I don't know. I just fuck it why not right so he's remaking the world to his image now the guy is changing everything he got the old guy the old guy here is from a while back I think it's it's in Captain America's comics like this is Hydra history too much bullshit again another historical figure in Hydra the old guy there now this is a part where I'm like come on man really that's how you did it Sam Wilson comes by with a piece of the Cosmic Cube and uh, they do this really nice parallel where uh, in Infinity Gauntlet when Captain America was the last man standing against Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet I mean when I read that I was like <laughs> they kept Captain America alive just for what he represented of course Cap can't do anything to the Infinity Gauntlet but I really like what that means, the symbolism. Like hope never dies, right? You stand and you fight. So Captain America Sam Wilson is doing the same thing. He fakes his Hydra, right? He gets on a knee, he bends the knee, and he gives a cosmic cube piece to Rogers. Also the shield. This is weird. So he has a complete cube inside of him. And he's like, he can't take the power. He's like bursting and shit. The weird thing is that Scott, 
Ant-Man and Bucky go inside the cube. They go inside the cube and get the memory of the real Steve Rogers back. I mean, that's comic book shit. <laughs> I didn't really like that, how, how that was written. But hey, he gets the job done. That, that's what Nick Spencer does. Shit, man. So they go inside the cube. They look for Steve. That's where they're planning it. And Kobik. I mean, I really like the relationship with Steve and Kobik there. He was always like trying to protect her while she has this power. And what I didn't get is all this memory stuff, man. If Kobik is a cube, if the cube is shattered, then Kobik is shattered. Why is she still there? Those are really weird things that I can't explain. Right? They go out of the cube. As weird as, weird as that sounds, they get out of the cube. They go with Buck. Oh, and Hydra, Captain Hydra's mad now. He's screaming, where is the, where is the cube? Like Transformers, right? Cue the video. Where is the cube? Like Transformers. <laughs> Kobik is back, and she's pissed, man. Look at that face. The little kid is pissed. <clears throat> she puts back everything the way it was. Big shocker. Like, we knew that was gonna happen. And this is a spoiler that Marvel did before this issue came out. That the real Captain America came out and he's gonna face his this twisted version of him. Because it is still him, it's Steve Rogers, but it's another version where he loves Nazis and he's a Nazi, right? They get into this argument and then they fight. Of course the narration is okay, I do agree with that they're like the best fighters they have the best endurance and will they have a really strong will both of them fighting could be a good fight even though this was not a perfect fight I really like that panel where it's uh, it's like Civil Wars one like in Marvel Civil War as a classic panel with Iron Man and Cap that they also redid in Civil War 2 I think so I think this panel is gonna be coming back, man. <laughs> They're gonna be using this panel a lot. It's just really cool. It looks nice. Beating themselves up. The fight is still going. You stand and you fight. You stand and you fight. Like I said, both caps, strongest ones there is. Not like Hulk, but in another in another way. And of course, they have to put like an African American woman to represent diversity. Uh, sure, I mean, why not? Mjolnir, the Mjolnir stuff is pretty cool. Now we know why Captain Hydra was able to pick up Mjolnir. And that's because Madame Hydra used a piece of a cosmic cube to alter the hammer. Now whoever picks it or whoever holds that hammer has the power of Hydra. Whatever having the power of Hydra means, <laughs> it makes you powerful, I guess. So that's how he was able to pick it up. Now the guy is fucking crying. Because he's like, oh, I'm not worthy. Of course not, man. You're a fucking Nazi. He, he thought he was worthy? <laughs> Come on, man. It was obvious they did something to the hammer when he picked it up. I never believed it. Now we see the real hammer. Now we see the real Captain America pick it up. It just wham! Fucking Captain Hydra. Destroying all his fucking armor, dude. And of course, the heroes forgive him really fast, really easily. They just see the real Steve. They go, <laughs> they go like, I know, man, it wasn't you. We cool. Uh, the shield doesn't belong to me, either. He gives his shield, his shield back to Wilson. And he gives the hammer back to female Thor. And neither does this. I wanted, my dream, my fantasy was for Jane Foster Thor to say it doesn't belong to me either. <laughs> and she just gives it to Odinson, to the real Thor, to Thor. But hey man, one guy can dream. Kobik doing her magic stuff, putting all the history like the way it was. 
this is the stupid part that I see no point just this is what Nick Spencer did he has a cosmic cube back Kobik he can put everything back to normal but no he leaves he leaves wreckage he leaves all that destruction so that there could be consequences and stuff that happened because of this event fuck man come on Nick this is the part that I don't I don't agree with you man you can put everything back of course fans will say I told you so you were gonna do that so I think he did this just to prove to fans or just to contradict fans that he did it because he didn't want the fans to be right <laughs> it's just so stupid and now we get an explanation of how generations Marvel generations is happening they go through the vanishing points because Kobik sends them so after this happens Kobik sends each hero to the past I guess with the real with the original real heroes Steve Rogers Captain America Thor the real Thor Hulk Bruce Banner uh, Captain Marvel all of those so now we have an explanation I guess man why not fuck it I don't think it should it's, it's a big ass event generations it's just meh so they returned they're restored reborn and already oh Oh, nothing happened, man. I'm good to go. Fuck yeah. And we get a splash page. I don't see why Steve Rogers is not in this one, in this group photo. Why is he not there? He's just standing there awkwardly. Well, take your picture, guys. Come on, man. Steve Rogers is back. Fucking get him in the picture. Um, also, Rick Jones is still dead. I don't see Black Widow. Or am I blind? I don't see Black Widow. I don't see Rick Jones. <laughs> They're still dead? Come on, man. The fuck? And the epilogue is just <clears throat> reconstruction, repairing what they can. Then humans are not in jail anymore. They're free. They signed their shit. McAllisters are back. They're living life. Uh, the good guys won. Sure, man, they won. Eh, whatever. The end. Secret Empire Omega, number one. That's the aftermath. That is, I think, the final, final issue of this boring-ass, predictable, unnecessary. Oh, we have a Nazi president, a fascist. We should do this. Oh, man. And Captain America is my favorite character in Marvel. I hated that they turned him into a fascist, hydro-Nazi guy. Storytelling-wise... I do see why they did this. It makes sense. It's something new that didn't happen before to Cap or Marvel. But I just fucking hated it. It was boring, predictable. Every issue I read, I knew what was going to happen. Or the cliffhangers were good. But overall, this event, I'm fucking, f fucking glad it's done. Finally, it's done. We now have uh, Marvel Legacy coming up. Which I think is going to be a little better, maybe? Hope so. And no more events, man. No more events from Marvel for a while. I hope, I hope they stick to their word and don't give us anything for a while. Because this was brutal. I hated the writing from Nick Spencer. And I liked it in some parts only. So yeah. Overall, didn't like this issue, this event at all. I don't know. Tell me in the comments down below, what did you think of the issue? Did you like the ending? And tell, me, and tell me if you like the event. Did you like the event overall? Yes or no? Do you want to see Nick Spencer write more? Tell me what's up, man. I'm Emo Sebo. Thanks for watching the video. I will be having more comic reviews later up today, I think. I'm going to be reviewing more. Mace Windu, Star Wars. It's going to be good shit, man. Again, subscribe to see more. Like if you enjoyed. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.